coroner call the time of death? Lividity set in 24 hours ago, but can't narrow it down until after the postmortem. Like it matters. Dead is dead. Sometimes this job gets to me. Seeing the innocent get hurt like this, I never get used to it. Would you want to? Never lost sleep cutting someone a parking ticket. Well, what you're looking at is burnout. It comes from chasing the same bad guys over and over. No, I ain't. It's not burnout. Benji, he's, he's a good guy. He never hurt anyone. Wife and little baby at home. Yeah, I hear you. But you can't let that anger control you. One guy going off like a bomb is more than enough. Steve took off like a bat out of hell. Uh, well, if he finds Andre before we do, someone's not walking away from that. We better beef up the guard on Stefano. Keep Steve from doing something stupid. Stefano's back in the hospital room. Steve know that? I'm not taking any chances. Posted a guard outside of Stefano's room and told him to alert me if Steve shows up and not to let him anywhere near Stefano. Who'd you put there? Catsworth. He's good. Made sure he had a description of Steve and a fax photo. Steve's not getting by him. I don't know about that. When Steve's angry, it's hard to stop. You know, get those soil samples over to the lab ASAP. Right away, sir. Forensics boys turn up anything that'll help us find Roman? Still working the scene. Oh, man. As the hours go by, I'm having a hard time convincing myself we're gonna find Roman okay. Well, perhaps I can be of some help. It's a crime scene, Junior. Yes, I noticed that. You're always saying that my family's a bunch of criminals. Anytime you want to put that down in writing with a few details, you just let me know. What are you doing here, EJ? Well, I think I may have the uh, fast track for finding Roman alive. This is insane. I'll handle this. You sure? I'll play it by the book. See that you do. You better not be yanking my chain. Not in the mood. No, clearly. Look, I understand you're worried about your brother. We all are, all right? What about you? You worried about your brother, Benji? Benji? Beg your pardon? Step across the tape, I got something to show you. Who did this? You mean it wasn't you? No, it was not me. Well, your old man's in the hospital, so that leaves Andre. Andre. Was he, um... What? Was he alive when they... When they buried him? Yeah. I don't know. But that is a Demera move. Do you want a closer look there, Junior? Sorry, Benji. Tell that to the wife and little baby he left behind. Look, I love. Uh... Send the widow condolences. Come on, Junior. Be a man. Show up in person so she can spit in your face. Look, Bill, I had no idea. That your family are cannibals who prey on their young? He was gutted for his liver. No small sacrifice did save the old man's life. But it apparently wasn't a big enough sacrifice. He had to give his life. I didn't have any idea about this. If I'd known, I would have done everything in my power to stop it. He was a good guy. Your family killed him. Well, I'm sorry I didn't know him better. Uh-huh, and you expect me to believe that? This may be over for Benji, but it doesn't have to be the end for your family if you can get this vendetta ended. Where'd you get that? Samantha gave it to me. So you know the terms of ending this vendetta? I do. <clears throat> Two little rings, right? Uh-huh. I've seen him. Your grandfather bought him for a, a marriage to Colleen. 
marriage that never happened. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? I mean, these two rings had never even been worn. And yet, they held the key to ending this vendetta and finding your brother alive. Sammy's not gonna marry you, no matter what it says in that damn folio. You're wrong. When she leaves Lucas, she and I will be husband and wife. Yeah, and you're dreaming. Wild horses couldn't drag her down the aisle with you, so come on. She's already agreed. Yeah, right. It's true. She told my father he was kind enough to offer his blessing to the Union. Yeah, I bet he was. He also agreed to end the vendetta. Come on. Maybe you and your murdering cousin Andre got Sammy so upset that she agreed to something in the moment. She's not going to go through with it. Lucas won't let her, neither will I. She knows it's the only way to save her father's life. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're sick, man. <laughs> I mean, you could take this 50-year-old tragedy and spin it into your own little fairy tale. Bo, Samantha wants to end the vendetta. Our wedding will accomplish that. Yeah, and you're being selfless. You're not getting anything out of this, are you? What about Sammy's happiness? Or my pop's happiness? Doesn't he rate? <laughs> what about your pop's happiness? Let me spell it out for you, Junior. Your grandfather Santo seduced my Aunt Colleen. Oh, seduced? I read some of those letters with Samantha. The two of them, I believe, were in love. Colleen was in love? Yeah, that's very clear. And Santo was in love Santo with Santo was married. My grandmother had died a long time before. Well, there, you're wrong. Santo lied to Colleen. And her little brother found out the truth and told her because he loved her and wanted to protect her. But when she found out that she'd been betrayed and dishonored, she leapt off of one of Galway's cliffs. I had no idea. Yeah. And that little boy, her little brother, has felt guilty ever since. And that would be your father, would it? But only a sick son of a bitch like yourself could reach into such a grisly tragedy and grab the golden ring. Or should I say, Two golden rings. Well, I'm sorry about your father, okay? Guilt is a horrible thing to live with. Yeah, all right. But so what? You got what you wanted. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that Sammy doesn't give a damn about you. Look, the bottom line here is that if I don't marry Samantha, the Vendetta lives. And in case you hadn't quite figured out what that means, it means that Roman dies. So what are you going to do? You're gonna waste your time standing there vilifying me? Or are you gonna save your brother? What'd you do to Sammy to force her to agree to these terms? Oh, it wasn't like that. How was it? The wedding uh, was Samantha's idea. Frankly, I really admire her willingness to do whatever it takes in order to save her father and end this vendetta between our two families. You're as crazy as Andre. If you think I'm gonna let my niece marry into your twisted family. Actually, Bo, I really don't care what you think. See, it's none of your concern. I came down here to make a, uh, a courtesy call to let you know that everything was being done to save Roman. Well, let me tell you something. Roman would rather die than have his daughter marry a Demera. You're very cavalier about Roman's life. I tend to think he may value it a little bit more than you do. The officer found this in the grave. It's Roman's. He must have been in the coffin. And he was moved to make room for Benji. Why would Andre go to the trouble? Because he knew we would head here the moment we found that chauffeur's uniform in his hideout. Oh, great. We're back to where we started. Look, I'm sure that my father has already contacted Andre and told him that the vendetta is over. Roman may already have been released. What the hell's he talking about? Nothing. Don't dismiss this, okay? I'm sure that Samantha is explaining everything to Lucas as we speak. Explaining what? That she's divorcing him. What? Hmm. She's marrying me. I think you might.